Here are the top 10 predictions for 2010 uh, put out by IHS Global Insights. First prediction for 2010 is that the U.S. recovery will start slowly. And the reason for that is very simple. Not only do we have tailwinds uh, in the sense of strong policy stimulus, a lot of pent-up demand, but we also have strong headwinds in the sense that unemployment rate is rising, households are deleveraging. Prediction number two uh, for 2010 is that Europe and Japan will grow more slowly and recover more slowly uh, than the United States. And the reason here is that they still have a lot of structural problems. In the case of Japan, major deflation going on. In the case of Europe, uh, credit is still very tight. House prices are still overvalued. Um, so all in all, we're looking at a lot of constraints on growth in those parts of the world. Prediction number three is that emerging markets will outpace the developed economies, the rich economies. Um, these uh, markets uh, were hit pretty hard, not as hard as the industrial markets, but Asia in particular has already rebounded strongly and we think can grow quite a bit stronger uh, than the U.S. or Europe. Prediction number four is that interest rates throughout the world will remain quite low uh, for the balance of 2010, especially in the U.S., Europe, Japan. Uh, uh, we expect uh, the central banks to keep rates at their historically low levels. Prediction number five is that fiscal stimulus will ease. Namely, we've had massive amounts of stimulus in the wake of the crisis in the U.S., in China, in some other parts of the world. That's going to dissipate slowly as a lot of these countries deal with the fact that they've got large amounts of debt now, um, government debt, that they have to deal with. Prediction number six is the commodity prices will move sideways. Uh, commodity prices rose in part because of fundamentals, but uh, the recent rise uh, over the summer and into the early fall was driven as much by investor activity as it was fundamentals. Fundamentals are still weak, so we expect a period of softness in commodity prices before they resume their rise, in particular at the end of 2010 as the global recovery gains some traction. Prediction number seven is that inflation will mostly not be a problem. In the U.S., we expect core inflation to remain around 1.5%. Most other parts of the world, inflation will remain very tame. The only possible area where we might see some inflation increasing is Asia, where growth is so strong. Prediction number eight is that after improving for a while, the global imbalances that everybody talked about a few years ago will actually worsen again. They improved considerably in 2009, but will worsen in 2010 as the U.S. recovery picks up steam and as the U.S. grows faster than the other rich economies such as uh, Europe uh, and Japan. Prediction number nine is that while in the very near term the dollar may strengthen a little bit, uh, in the medium to long term it's going to be on a declining glide path. Um, and the reason there is simply that the U.S. current account deficit, the global imbalances, remain large and haven't really been reduced much by this recent crisis. And our final prediction is that the risks of a hard W are uncomfortably high, and there are any number of triggers that could bring about uh, a, a second dip, if you will, in growth, if not into negative territory, certainly into low growth, and these might include higher energy prices, uh, a, a big cutback by consumers because of uh, higher unemployment, um, uh, further repercussions of the financial crisis. So any one of these or likely a combination of these could push us back down again. Thank you very much.